Stop the game. There you go. Hey, everybody. It's Ryan from Pi Records, and I'm here with the Boss Jaguars. How are you doing, guys? Hey, Fantastic, Ryan. man. Doing great, man. Awesome. Uh, start by introducing yourselves and the instruments that you play. Uh, I'm Chris. I play lead guitar. I'm Darren. I play rhythm guitar. I'm Michael. I play the drums. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about the, the history behind the Boss Jaguars. I, I know you have a lot of you have a lot of followers and you have some members in other bands that I've interviewed uh, that you might have seen recently. Tell me about how the Boss Jaguars got together. Sure. So it's a it's a long uh, winding tale and I won't drag you through too, too much of it. But um, we started we kind of got things going uh, back around maybe 2009, I would say. Michael, does that sound right to you? That's that's about right. Uh, and Michael and I had met playing in a rockabilly band that I had been in for a couple of years playing guitar in. And, and Michael and I kind of got along pretty well and I'd always wanted to put together a surf band and a childhood friend of mine had moved to town to Austin and you know he I guess he had he had run out of bands to play with so he was willing to play surf guitar uh, and and go with me on that weird idea and so um, our, our, our first gig ever was playing for a guy who had been a government agent his daughter's house playing with the rockabilly band and they she's came up and said, hey, you, you had kind of this like twangy kind of spy sounding guitar thing going on. And could you play, uh, you know, an hour and a half or so of that kind of music for my dad's retirement? He's retiring it from a, being a government agent. And so we just the guitarist and the other guitarist and I took the gig and really stretched on materials and took some like longer solos and learned, you know, every venture song and, and every Dick Dale tune that we could and to play at a low volume for this, you know, guy who was I suppose he was in his seventies and preparing to retire. Uh, and we played his party and it went well. And we kind of had some ad libs on the spot that uh, we later developed into songs. And, you know, we, we brought Michael into the mix and, and kept it going and have had a couple renditions of the band. Uh, but I think we've, we've landed in a really good spot now and we have a really good lineup. So that's, that's kind of the history. We've been around for a while, kind of, kind of slow simmering, but I think we're in a good spot now to, uh, uh, to set out and get some recordings done. So you 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 uh you you have recordings from the past, correct? Yeah, yeah, we 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 do have some things. Uh, I guess you would say that they're they're out of print. Uh, we actually started under a, a different band name, and kind of uh, a couple years into it, decided that the Boss Jaguars was a better fit for kind of what we were doing, uh, and so we've stuck with that. Um, but yeah, uh, Ted from Deep Eddy Records and plays with his great band the nematodes uh put us on one of his compilations and we do have a couple uh we do have a couple recordings floating around out there in, including a holiday album uh and a five song ep under the boss jaguars awesome awesome so as of right now um it, it's a four piece or a three piece yeah four. we're a four piece uh, and our drummer, uh, or our bass player, Rick, unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight. He's a great dude, also has a rockabilly background. He's, he's played with some, some well-known names and can play upright and electric. He plays electric with us. But he's, he's, a, he's a very talented guy we're lucky to have playing with us. To see, to see being, you guys being from a, a rockabilly background, how does that um, influence the, the, surf, the surf stuff you do? You know, there's really kind of a continuum, at least there is to me, uh, <laughs> and I, we have to make a point of breaking out of one, four, fives from time to time, and not not being too too in that traditional pocket. Uh, but but when Michael and I were were playing in a rockabilly band, we always, you know, I always had a kind of a surf edge to my rockabilly, so that kind of uh, this lets me lets me flesh that out a little bit more. I've always wanted to have a surf band since I was in high school and started playing guitar. I just I didn't know for a long time you could actually do that these days. Well, uh, th that's the other th the other thing about you wanting to have the surf band was <laughs> when we were playing with the we our our version of this band initially started because 
the rockabilly guy we were playing with started letting us have a little little miniature mini set of surf tunes and it, it started stretching from you know maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes and then a little bit more once we got past 35 minutes i was like no we need to we need to put this together and do something with it this this is more than just a a one-off set so michael at that at also that, uh, at that point were you doing originals we, we did you start writing for the boss Jaguars? no that at that point it was i mean when we were doing the initially doing the little surf set with the rockabilly group it was just all you know wipe out and walk don't run and you know standards for the most part but um once we actually the three of us got into a room together and chris and our our former bandmate uh brad uh you know started showing me some of the the stuff that they had been working on we started you know working on fleshing out a uh, original material so awesome awesome yeah uh you, you were gonna say something i cut you off i'm sorry uh i was oh we're, chris is from the coast man that's like the big reason to be you know have a surf band he's from corpus christi that's the third <laughs> coast man gotta, gotta mention that Good point. I'm a, I'm a, I got salt water in my blood, man. Uh, does, man. So, so uh, the first Very time busy. I ever saw surf music performed live. So, being in Corpus Christi, uh, you know, I'm 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 glad I'm from there. I had I had an amazing childhood going to the beach and, and doing things you do in Corpus. Um, but at the time, uh, you know, if there were surf bands like true surf bands in town, I wasn't finding them. Uh, I guess if you'd asked me to, you know, define surf music when I was in you know, early high school, I probably would have said it was, you know, I guess, I guess the Beach Boys, like so many people would. And the first time I ever heard live instrumental surf music performed was by this, you know, great band. And for my money, the best band that's ever been in Corpus Christi, Matt Hole and the Hot Rod Gang. Shout out to Matt. And, and they would, you know, he'd play Miserlou. And, you know, this is like mid 90s. And I'd never seen surf music or rockabilly, for that matter, perform live. So he was just, you know, standing on top of the upright bass and shredding out Miserlou and putting fire behind the old Sun recordings and doing his own originals. And, and I just got, you know, uh, I, I, I caught on fire with that thinking, wow, you know, you can, you, can, you can play all this stuff. But I never saw a real surf band until I moved to Austin uh, a couple years later. And the first time, the first live music I saw in Austin uh, was the Surf Finks. And I was like, okay, you know, you can, you can play as much surf music as you can learn how to play and it'd be a viable band. It was, you know, I guess I, I might have been a little, uh, little sheltered, but, you know, I just didn't even know you could go out and play instrumental guitar music uh, and like have that work uh, in a surf setting. So that was blowing for me. Uh, and I, you know, I, I thank Matt Hole for that to this day for, for lighting that fire. Awesome. Awesome. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in, um, I, I, I'm not sure how, how well you know each other. There's a lot of Austin and Corpus Christi surf stuff, stuff going on. You have uh, Noah who, from Otitis Media who supports a lot of surf bands. You, do you know those guys? So we got to meet them at uh, a Surf by Surf East event that uh, happened right before everything shut down with the pandemic. So we, we're we're connected we haven't had a lot of contact but i just became aware of them yeah yeah they have a, they have a lot of great bands he has a he has a talent for picking out some great bands especially from south america um and they have like a, a great mixture of tribal and and uh folk music from brazil and argentina and peru um what are you guys working on right now as far as is recording and and playing shows? I know it's it's somewhat limited what you can do, um, but 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 I, I'm sure you guys have by now you've gotten the itch to do something. Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. We've, we're uh, uh, we're, new we're kind of making tunes. A Some of this stuff I know Chris has had in the hopper for. Oh, sorry, Darren. I think we had a little time to like go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Got delay. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris, the form it's in now is initially getting started. It was during COVID. So, so uh, that got found in a lot of tunes that, that Chris had. Uh, we started working on that material. So there's a lot can record. And as it is now, um, it's just really a matter of picking the ones we want to start with and, you know, doing little groups of them, get, get stuff recorded and get it out. So it's, uh, we're, we're rare to go, man. I think it's, uh, we've had, uh, we've had a lot of, we've gotten a lot of rehearsals in, we got a good place to rehearse and, uh, I'm in San Antonio and the rest of the guys are in Austin. So I drive up, uh, to get there, to get with them and, and work on material. So we're, we're excited. We've got a lot of stuff we can do. It's coming. Yeah, we're, we're kind of making our plan of attack. Uh, you know, do we want to, you know, kind of put everything out there, which would be a couple of dozen plus songs, uh, or do we want to do, you know, smaller releases and kind of tailor them in that way and also figure out, figuring out the recording process that's going to work best for us. You know, everyone has, has kind of their own thing uh, and I'm lucky to be with some, with some great players. Uh, so I, I just want to make sure we, we, we're able to bring out our best and, and put something out there that really stands for the band. Awesome. Uh, so, what is it about about Corpus Christi that that is such a in Austin? I would say, what there's so much coming out of there. What what is so special about that 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 people gravitate towards it? Well, I'm too close to Corpus, Darren, Michael. Do you all want to share <laughs> maybe a better perspective? Uh, I, I, we call San Antonio the gateway to Austin, I think. <laughs> every, every San Antonio musician says they're from Austin, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I know, I know. See, I'll, that's the, yeah. Go, I always Michael. correct anyone whenever they say I'm from Austin, I say, no, I'm from San Antonio. And that's how Michael and I know each other. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so so uh, when so I I left Corpus in about uh, ninety nine, and and at the time you know there were there were several great rockabilly bands down there uh, that 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 was really going on. Uh, uh, the 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 main venue down there, Executive Surf Club, you know it's got it's got surf in the name, right? But there there weren't a ton of surf bands playing. Uh, I'm glad to hear that there are more now. And really, I think originally the surf things hailed from there. Um, but, uh, the, you know, there, there's always been in, in whatever style, a pretty strong, uh, you know, grassroots music scene in Corpus. So I'm glad that's continuing. I'm glad it's, it's including more, you know, surf and garage style stuff. That's, that's really encouraging. Uh, in, in, in Austin, it's kind of amazing because you think of it as being a landlocked town, but you know, there's so much water activity that goes on in this town with all the lakes. Um, it, you know, there's in fact half of the things that we've played in the last couple of months. Almost at, almost everything we've played has been by a body of water in Austin. Um, so it's it's certainly out there, and I think that you know the historical appetite for guitar playing in Austin is strong. The appetite for rock and roll in Austin is strong, and the appetite for danceable music is pretty strong too. So that all kind of adds up to you know a vibrant scene for surf music. And there have been various uh, um, uh, events over the years that have kind of brought it all together and, and given it a place to focus. There was a long running surf night at a bar that was really kind of spearheaded by a couple guys up here, uh, Caleb and Brooke. And then there was also a, uh, uh, a, a recurring annual surf by surf East, kind of the surf guitarist answer to South by Southwest. And, uh, you know, I, and, and hopefully that'll, that'll pick up in the, uh, in the future as well when everything can, can resume. And we also have, uh, it's, it's changed ownership. There's, there's some changes going on, but we've had a, a, a surf park uh, on the east side of town where, you know, with a big machine that creates waves. And we were, we were fortunate to play out there many times. Uh, and, you know, it was great to, to crank up the amp, you know, loud, open air with lots of breeze blowing and have guys come in dragging surfboards who, who said, man, we could hear you perfectly out there. And it was just right. So that's uh it's wow. interesting what opportunities no, the, the, can pop the best, up in the hill country. The best part of that 
get it correct. The, the best part of that was getting to play surf music and then go surf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, awesome. they 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 comped us a free pass. So in between set one and set two, we went and signed all the waivers and put on wetsuits. I forgot about that, Mike. Good point. That's awesome. So so in Austin, playing at a surf park. I, I mean, it's almost too good to be true. Um, what, what, are, what are some of your, your other uh, memorable uh, shows? Uh, have you ventured out more in, into other parts of the country or, or even Texas, for that matter, is pretty big? Yeah, we've, uh, I guess we've stayed so far fairly close to home. You know, we've got an eye on, on reaching out to, to some of the more travel gigs uh, in the not-too-distant future. We did get a great opportunity to play at Otto's Shrunken Head right before everything shut down. In fact, it was that was over Valentine's weekend, so we were at Otto's Shrunken Head in New York in February of 2020. And then we came back, had that Surf by Surf East gig, and then the world shut down for a year and a half. Um, but, but uh, you know, there's so many venues to play around in Austin that, you know, just for the sake of playing, you don't have to look too far, but I think we're, we're gearing up to look towards some of the things out East and out West and see, see what we can get our hands on. Yeah, as you know, Ryan, there's definitely a circuit and, uh, and you really got to hit those places to get folks to, to hear you. So uh, while internet is great and you can, you can post videos of your playing and you can put your music up, there's really no substitute for getting out, getting out and actually playing live. And, uh, and, yeah, and, you know, we've talked about it before the contacts that you make when you do that, you put a, you, you put a human being behind the music you're playing human beings. And, you know, that's, that starts to really open up for you. And, and I've, you know, we've talked about it before, Ryan, the, uh, the, the whole scene is very supportive of each other. That's, that's, yeah. that's been one of the things that we've really enjoyed. Uh, my, my other, you know, my other situation. So that's, um, that's, that's big. So I think once we get out and experience all those same things, man, it's going to be, it's going to be fantastic time and people will, you know, more friends, more music. I, I think a lot of, uh, of bands are, it, it's funny because a lot of the bands are doing the same are in the same situation where you are, where they're looking for, other bands to connect with and, and, and just kind of yeah. make that chain longer. Um, you know, just meet people and, and go to festivals and, uh, and, and, and just kind of make something, make it bigger, make it bigger. And, and uh, every, everybody's so welcoming, um, you know, per, perhaps uh, maybe I'll get to the high tide festival this year, but um there's, there's also the surf guitar 101 convention um have, right. have, you, have you spoken to, to jeff at all chris yeah I don't know yeah you... so, so 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 i've been in contact with with jeff just sparsely a couple times over the years um uh, and and you know hope we can get some recording done to kind of use that as a lever to say hey jeff check this out man nice nice it, it's nice to build build upon it, and then when you get get to the festival, people are expecting what what they've heard. Like there's always this uh, where your where your reputation precedes you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Awesome. So, is there anything going on right now um, that we that you might want to talk about that we that we might not have touched on? Let's see. Well, we, we've, uh, you know, we're, we're continuing to book, uh, to book a couple gigs. We've got something, uh, something coming up in the next couple of weeks at the carousel lounge, which is awesome. Uh, it's like, uh, I've heard it described as, uh, David Lynch's honky tonk. There's a giant, uh, paper mache pink elephant right behind the drummer and the whole thing, you know, it's like, uh, it's like the little bar that, that time forgot, uh, in the coolest way possible. And actually, the last time we played there, uh, one of our buddies who also plays surf guitar, a guy named Sean Shirazi, was there attending bar. So, you know, it's uh, the, the, the whole town, you can hardly go anywhere without bumping into somebody 
who's a great guitarist and has a great band and a lot of the times is a surf band. Um, no, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd say, uh, you know, we, we hope to be lighting things up uh, over the next several months or so with, uh, with the first recording we've had out in a while uh, and we're, we're making inroads there. Are you putting it out yourself? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, it seems likely that we would, but uh, we've got a couple folks to reach out to and, and see, if, uh, see if it makes sense to partner up. Nice, nice. Um, so what, if people want to book you or get to know more about the band or, or buy some of, of your music, hear some of your music, what's the best way to get in contact with you? Absolutely. Uh, the uh, folks have had a good time reaching us on uh, Facebook uh, or through Instagram or uh, bossjaguars at gmail.com. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, do you guys, are you on your, uh, your uh, YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. We do have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's got the, the, uh, there, there's a couple, there's a couple channels out there. The correct one, the most up-to-date one is the one that has our logo, which is a black background with a band name in red. That's the, that's the right channel to keep an eye out for. And it's got some live footage. It's got a couple recordings, uh, uh on it and, uh, we should have, you know, I, I typically post a clip from, from every few gigs up there uh, when, when we get something good that has the right camera angle on it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I know Thank it, you for it, having us. Oh, no problem, man. It was good to get to, to meet you. And I was on your Facebook page today uh, li listening to some of the recordings and I was on YouTube. Um, I really enjoy your your stuff and uh, hope the new recordings turn out well for you and wish you the best of luck. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, we hope so to have much. something something fresh to send you soon, Ryan. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. You guys have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye.